So we're done with the with the lips. We're done with the the nose. We've not done the eyes. I think we should fix the eyes now. Okay, so this is the, the cheek. Now I'm I'm feeling I need to bring uh, this cheek downwards a bit based on the scheme of things now. Okay, so I can easily come in here, go to the side view, and then pull this down and in just a little bit. So there is no right or wrong way to do things. You try things out and by the time you generate your rig and it's not working fine, you can easily go back in and adjust. So that is what I want you to pick from this very episode. Okay, and um, the next thing is to fix the eyes. Now to do this, I want to turn off, I want to hide every other bones like we've been doing in order to limit the distraction here. So I'm going to select these ones. Oh, but that's to use the C to quickly select uh, these bones, then Shift H to hide every other bone except for those bones selected. So now I have the eyes going to the front view. Now I can uh, easily select this one, then scale it. Then uh, move it downwards. Okay, so I'll bring this. I'll bring this in. I'll bring this in. And then I'll also bring this in to fit in the shape of my character. So I'm pulling this down. I'm pulling this up. So it is, it is more tricky to work with characters that have a very different uh, eye shape from humans. Okay. But at the same time, I want to make sure this relationship is kept. This, this sort of... Uh, A straight line here so I want to make sure it's kept okay so I can fix this somewhere here then put this also somewhere here This goes somewhere here. Goes somewhere here. Yeah. Okay, so this defines uh, the outer part of the character's eyes. And I can I can bring this in. Can bring this in so Okay, so roughly on a straight line there. And then this roughly in the middle. Roughly in the middle.
here and then I can open this up a bit also so just uh, just to make sure I'm keeping the relationship tightly so the relationship between this and this um, this and this I think this should come back a bit just something like that and then this should come down also and come in so I can get that relationship and at the same time you want to try and see how you can you can have a bit of a even spreading okay so this is a good start this is a good start let's see what everything looks like from the side view then go to the side view and i can see that i need to push some of these out a bit and turn it back on click on this cool I think this is this looks good um, okay and then the last part uh, turn this off just a little bit okay now for the for the eyes I can start with this then go to the side view turn off the in front and I can Cool. from front view side view front view side view side view and the front view the side view and the front view so all I'm doing now is just uh, making sure the bones are positioned just beneath the surface of the skin, that's all. And to ensure this works the right way I want it to, I'm flipping from the side view to the front view also, and checking out things and making sure nothing is uh, out of place okay all right so I think uh, we are almost uh, there with the eyes so for this I'm gonna go to the side view also and push this backwards get rid of the in front and then push it in now from the front view we can just uh, do that in front so I have uh, roughly the line here and roughly on a straight line roughly were aligned and then this in the middle okay now the next thing I want to do is the the bone here for the eyes now the trick to do this is you want to select the eyes you want to select the eyes and then um, let me isolate the eyes for a moment and 
I'm going to the edit mode for the eyes and I'm going to select this line. This seems to me like uh, the center for it. So L. So you alt click and then you select all around it. Okay. And now I can go to my shift S, then uh, cursor to selected. So I have my cursor in the center of uh, the eyes. Now I'm going back to the object mode for the eyes. And then I'm going to leave the isolation mode. And now I can select the edit mode. I can select this bone here and then shift S, selection to cursor and bring it uh, where it should be. Now from the side view, I can just straighten things out. Okay. So now I have that. It's time to bring back all the eating uh, bones so as you can see talking about uh, alignment i would like to align this also with this so let me click on the eye spot there and then push it a bit in so let me just uh okay cool so I think the next thing is to work on the inner part of the head. That means it's time to turn off the body for that. And I'm going to select uh, the mouth, the upper teeth, the tongue, and then the lower teeth, and then hide every other bone. So from the side view, I can push this in 